Oh, it's been a long time and I've missed you guys, but here we are back with a new video. Today we're going to be looking at Juve, they've signed Di Maria, they've signed Paul Pogba. So what formation could they use next year? Well, in Football Manager, we're just going to find a perfect tactic for them in the game rather than what tactic they could use in real life because, to be honest, God knows. <laughs> so in this video, we are going to be Juve. We're going to be creating the perfect tactic from the squad that they've got. And then we're going to hopefully see them do well in the video. We're also going to play a game as well. A very good game against Inter Milan. Well, I hope it's going to be a good game. We don't know that yet. But forget all the talking. Let's get stuck in to this video. And as you can see, we are Juve in Football Manager, well, Zebra, as they like to call it. And before we start, if you are new or you haven't yet, make sure you are subscribed, leave a comment, leave a like, all of that good stuff to help this channel grow. Now, I will speak a little bit on why I haven't been making videos recently. Um, so content creating, as some of you seen in my tweet, content creating has given me a new life, but I have, I would say a little... A couple issues, a couple issues from my previous, my old life that I just didn't get um, to deal with before. So now I've kind of, I'm kind of dealing with that. It's just grievance. I mean, my dad passed away 10 years ago now. It's a long time, but it gets worse and worse every year without hold, without talking, holding it in. It just gets worse. My mum had COVID. And then of course, being a dad to two kids, one is three, one is one. So times have been a little difficult recently, but I'm back. I'm smiling and we are going to be smashing out these videos. So let's get stuck into this one without all this cheaty chatter. So as you can see, we are Zebra. We didn't make any signings in this video. Usually we would make signings, but today, I mean, we just left it because they have signed Di Maria. They have signed Paul Pogba as well. They do have a fairly decent side, but what I didn't want is a perfect side. So this side isn't perfect. For an example, we've only got three center backs. If two get injured, if one gets suspended, one gets injured, that, that leaves us with one natural center back of course Danilo can play center back but he's probably not the greatest center back in the team and of course we can improve other little areas but we didn't we're just going to focus on the team that we currently have and straight away what I've noticed is that we're kind of light on the flanks other than Angel Di Maria and Chiesa who are two very very good wingers we are kind of light on the flanks we have Marco Bajaka Bajaka He's probably going to leave in real life. we got Moyes Keane who can play on the flanks, but naturally he is a striker as we can see with the best position. So already I kind of know that I am looking for a very narrow formation. So we're going to sort this team out by ability. Paul Pogba, he's just going to have to get into the team. Juan Cuadrado, now, now we can play him as a winger, but we're going to be using him as a fullback today because I'm pretty sure we're going to be using a narrow formation that isn't using wingers. Dusan Vlahovic, of course, our main striker. Striker. Now, because we're not going to be using wingers, Chiesa, of course, has to be used as a striker today. Mateus De Ligt at the back, Angel Di Maria, possibly going to be playing in central midfield as well, but we'll just stick him on the left for now. Benucci at the back, Locatelli, he's going to be playing in midfield. Rabiot, I mean, it depends. It depends on the midfield shape. So we're going to leave that. Wojciech Szczesny at left back and then at left back in goal. And then as our left back, we do have Alex Sandro so already this is my best Juve team but of course we have to work out who is going to be that extra midfielder so let's go back to our tactic screen let's go back I don't believe we've even been here before so this here is the tactic screen and now I'm looking for a narrow formation let me go back to the squad quickly actually and I want to see if Locatelli now Locatelli is not actually a defensive midfielder or naturally but he can play there and he's probably very very good there as well we're going to look at his traits he comes deep to get the ball he dictates tempo so i feel i feel we can use him in a holding role so he can drop down into midfield and to have a narrow tactic straight away i am looking at this 4132 so this is possibly the formation that we can go with now when it comes to finding that extra central midfielder we can use rabio we can use mckenny we can use arta and dennis sicario so this is proper and Ramsey as well. So this is possibly the best formation for Juve to use with this current crop of players. So we're just going to put McKenney because I prefer 
I just prefer McKenny. So now we've got this shape, this 4132. Now what I'm going to work out is getting the best out of certain key players. So like Paul Popa, like Di Maria, Vlahovic, Locatelli, De Lit. These are some of the key players. So I kind of want to use them in a role that they're going to be familiar with and a role that they can shine in. So for an example, Vlahovic as an advanced forward, we want him to score goals. He likes to beat the offside trap. And we know that advanced forward loves to score goals on this game. So for Vlahovic, which is going to leave him as the advanced forward now already in midfield things aren't looking great so what i'm going to do is put paul pogba on the left hand side because i have noticed already that paul pogba prefers to play on the left in a two-man pairing of course we've got a three-man midfield here as well but clearly paul pogba likes to play on the left hand side of midfield now a role that suits paul pogba it has to be a playmaking role it just has to be now i've actually got roman playmaker for the fact that he likes to get into the opposition area as well he likes to try his tricks and he likes to try long range passes so i'm just going to use a roman playmaker for that i feel paul pogba will be a very good roman playmaker on the game now angel di maria isn't a central midfielder on this game not naturally anyway so what i've done in training is got him to train that position and that role as well i'm kind of we're going to use him as a mazala if we're going to put angel di maria in midfield there's only going to be one role and that is going to be mazala well possibly a roman playmaker possibly but we're going to be using a mazala today and a mazala on attack now he's going to be focusing on this right half flag for Chiesa as well he's going to be a striker that drops deep not necessarily advanced forward like Vahovic he's going to be coming deep connecting play and the Mazala could be a midfielder making runs off him and creating in that half space as well now for Di Maria he's very good at crossing so already I'm just going to add cross more often to his player instructions now at the back I'm looking at my two defenders we've got d -Lit and we've got Benucci as well and we kind of know what the best role for those two players are going to be and that is of course going to be the ball playing defender we're not going to really sort out the player instructions just yet we're going to talk about the team instructions first because we need to know the style of play before looking at some of these player instructions but for someone like Di Maria of course we want him to be crossing more often because we want to get the best out of Angel Di Maria so already I feel that we've kind of got a very very nice balance already to the shame possibly on the flanks we should be using wing backs on attacks just they're kind of responsible for this whole flank so they need to be getting up and down a wing back on attack though he is fairly attacking he still has his defensive responsibilities he's not going to neglect them and i feel safe using a wing back on attack on both sides in the system so here we have the two full backs or the two wing backs just kind of focusing on these flanks that is their main duty and then of course these wider central midfielders can help link up with those two players now another thing that we can look at as well is the analysis we can kind of look at the areas that we're focusing on and you can see here we're heavily focused in the middle now what i'm kind of now what i'm trying to work out is the roles for my central midfielder in the middle and my defensive midfielder in well defensive midfield but i feel the players roles already are kind of suited for this tactic i feel a defensive midfielder on support here and a central midfielder on attack here it it is providing a very very nice balance to the system so we are looking at Chiesa a deep line forward we can use a complete forward possibly on support I don't really use much of that a pressing forward on support as well or a force nine and I'm going to go with the force nine because I know it works fairly fairly well in football manager but we kind of want similar movements as a deep line forward would give us as a complete forward possibly would give us is that dropping deep linking up play that is what we kind of want but with the force then you've got that added speciality of taking more risk and dribbling more often as well and this hair is already the perfect shape i feel for juve this hair i feel is the best tactic the best formation i should say for juve so now we can move over to the team instructions now it's time to sort out the team instructions and those player instructions now normally and originally i did start out with the positive mentality but then as the season played on i found that the attacking one was literally much stronger 
much stronger than a positive mentality so we are going to go with that attacking mentality now with this attacking mentality and being Juve as well of course we do want to play out from the back I feel using this instruction is actually key now with the control mentality I don't feel this is as important because already with the positive mentality you are instructing your team to kind of look with the possession kind of stick with the possession theme so you aren't naturally going to be looking to hoof the ball straight forward but with the attacking mentality I noticed that our players like to kick the ball forward to kind of start off the attack so we are going to be playing out from the defense the passing directness is going to be shorter but with the tempo we are going to be using extremely high just so the players can use their brain well quicker so rather than holding on to the ball and slowing down the attacks we're going to try and speed up the attacks and speed up players decision making in the final third we are going to be sending in low crosses and working the ball into the box in transition importantly when the possession has been lost we are going to look to counter press try and win the ball back soon after losing it when the possession has been won we do not have any instruction before i kind of explain this before so if we do use count out as soon as we win the ball a lot of our players are going to be looking just to get further up just bomb further forward and that leaves space and gaps and with this formation because it's not a perfect formation it's not evenly distributed so for an example we already have weaknesses on the flanks because we don't have any wingers to support the fullbacks i feel leaving gaps especially in away games just isn't smart so in transition when the possession has been won we aren't going to be using counter or hold shape which is going to be leaving it blank and then for the distribution type we are going to be rolling out the ball lastly for out of possession defensive whip remains the same the defensive line remains the same at standard but the line of engagement gets one knock just the one knock higher up we're using the offside trap preventing the short goalkeeper distribution and the trigger press is set to much more often or just more often for me it literally made no difference for me i think i couldn't tell you if the tactic was strong or more often or much more often i can't even tell you if the fitness was better with more often neither so for you this might be something that you have to try out possibly it could be just because i am juve if i was a weaker team maybe we would notice a bigger difference because we wouldn't be on the ball as much possibly but at juve at juventus i just didn't really find a difference between the two so this is all down to you so for the player instructions we're just going to be using the completed version of this tactic which is called juve 22 23 so this is the one that we just created and this is the original as you can see they're basically identical apart from the goalkeeper here i've noticed one is a goalkeeper just a goalkeeper and the other is a super keeper i don't think it really matters so in defense the two central defenders they're going to be dribbling more progression with the ball staying wider so we can have better passing options or angles and they are also going to be marking tighter against the attackers both wing backs they're going to be sitting more narrow they're going to be tackling harder and marking tighter for our anchor man our locadelli he's going to be dribbling more he's actually got pretty decent dribbling he's going to be tackling harder and marking tighter so looking at um locadelli it's not so much his actual dribbling stat but more so the flair the balance the agility and i feel he can just be decent or more useful running with the ball in central midfield we do have paul pogba on roman playmaker dribbling more moving into the channels tackling harder marking tighter Di maria crossing more often i explain the reason why one reason why dribbling more tackling harder marking tighter and in the middle we do have winston mckenney taking more risk and tackling harder lastly up top chiesa tackling harder dusan vlahovic dribbling more and tackling harder now for the set pieces because we do have a set piece setup it's not really a set piece setup it's just the corners for the attacking we are going to be sending it into the near post as you can see our central defender on the right is attacking when we are well taking corners on the right hand side and on the left hand side when we are taking corners on the left we do have our left side the central defender attacking that near post and that there wraps up this perfect 4-1 four one three two so now we can play that all important game against inter milan and then after the inter milan game we can look at the results so now let's get stuck in So this is the team that we're going to go with. It's literally the best 11 that we have. Apart from Locatelli is suspended for today. And we have Arthur in defensive midfield. So let's hope for a win, boys. Goes out for goal kick. Here is a goal kick. Now Handanovic, the fry, screen roll for Inter Milan, plays it to Dumfries. Hopefully we can trap them in a decent area and win that ball back. The fry now 
bringing the ball forward i mean we might yeah there we go mckenny vlahovic kiesa's through ah oh, great defending by bastone 15 minutes in and zebra are looking like the dominant side today here's alexandra on the ball the lit benucci now this is why we want to play it out from the back because we don't want to hoof the ball in this sort of these uh, sort of situations here is Benucci. Oh, nice football here. But we might want to progress with the ball now. Pogba's right here waiting. There we go. Vlahovic on the ball now. Plays it to Sandro. Dilip, we've gone back again. Benucci is there looking for the ball. And you've got space to drive. Go on, boy. Plays it to Di Maria. Chiesa now. Play that free ball. Ooh. Di Maria, play that free ball. Vlahovic. Oh, what a save. Here's Dilip now. That was very, very lucky. Well done, Sanjo, as well. Vlahovic has Pogba, Arta. I'm looking for Pogba to play that Pogba ball, you know. Di Maria, Benucci, Arta, Dilit, Pogba. Lovely. Look, we're playing lovely football. Chiesa, Vlahovic, you're through, son. Oh, my God. What Vlahovic is this? Oh, Juve could be 1 or 2 no up, and it's 0 0. Benucci on the ball. Brings it forward, driving forward. Plays it back to Szczesny. Delit Pogba McKenny, lovely one touch stuff there. Alex Chiesa. Oh my, what's why do why can't they shoot in front of the goal? Come on, they can't be that bad at shooting a flipping football, man. Both Lahovic and Chiesa, it's ridiculous. What is the point of having that quality if they're just gonna keep missing like that? Oh, nil nil half time. This is stress, man. We literally missed like three one on ones. Latara Martinez plays it out to Gerson's. He fry. A stony. We have to try. Oh, Barella. Yes, Chesney. Thank God for that. Thank God for that poor touch. Delete. Alexandra now. Paul Pogba. You've got. Come on. He's got influence the game. Oh, Sandro, for fuck's sake. Well, that's Sandro's in. Uh, sent off. Yes, Chesney with the loose ball. What's he going to do now? He rolls it out to Delit. Delit brings it forward. Pellegrini, Pogba. Uh, what is up with his flipping passing? Oh my god, what is up with Pogba? He literally can't pass six yards. Di Maria, Chiesa, Quadrado. Di Maria now. Ten men, Juve still looking for a way forward. There's Paul Pogba. Oh my days, he's Pogba. We can't miss your, your, Come on, Vlahovic, you can't miss that one, man. It's on your favourite foot. Oh, 50th league of his career. I mean, that should have came earlier. I can't believe the amount of chances that he's missed today. But here's Paul Pogba. He's passing off to... I'm, I'm, I'm going to sub him. He's playing a 6.5, man. We brought on Rabio instead for Paul Pogba. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with his passing. Now, hopefully we don't concede because we haven't given much away all game. So it would be pretty upsetting if they did score now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Offside ref Ref That's a free kick Yeah it was offside Oh my god Oh my god Oh I thought it was a highlight <laughs> I thought it was a highlight Come on boys And that there wraps up today's game As you can see a 1-0 win for Zebra I mean you can look at our rating as well Our match ratings We actually played fairly decent Sanjo obviously getting sent off Which is one reason why he didn't play a 7 or above And Paul Pogba was absolutely awful absolutely awful and i noticed that as well and we did sub him off handanovic of course having a good game for inter saving them otherwise this score line could have been a lot higher it could have been higher but it did end 1-0 to inter milan that was after the fourth game as well so the team wasn't actually fully clicked or cohesed or whatever that word is but now we can look at the end of the season results to see how well juve did and how well this tactic did over the whole season So after the full season, this is the results. Serie A, Zebra on top of the league. We played 38, we won 35, we drew three, meaning that we were invincible, unbeaten, lost zero games during the season. Now the three games that we drew against, away to Milan, at home to Lazio, and away to Torino, all of those being 1-1 one -one draws. In the first knockout round though, we did get knocked out by Manchester United. I believe we beat them at our ground, but then they absolutely smashed us, as you can see, 4-1. And I'm sure, I am sure the second leg was at Old Trafford. 
let's let's check so yeah the, the second leg so we beat them 3-1 in the first leg the second leg we went to old trafford and got absolutely hammered we got knocked out in the first round which is very very disappointing coppa italia we got knocked out in the quarterfinals and in the ps5 super cup we are the winners so we can look at the stats in a little bit more detail we scored 124 goals we had the most shots for the fewest shots against past completion we come in fifth for the most possession we come in second with 55 percent most tackles won zebra in sixth place most dribbles made we completed the most most clean sheets we come in third place and for the fewest conceded we come in in second for the most goals do sam flahovic with 36 but chiesa scored 22 goals angel di maria with 18 assists sandro with 17 for the most shots i mean flahovic is actually in fifth place i would have expected him to be first for the most man of the match awards di maria coming in second with nine vlahovic also in that list di maria with the most key passes for the best pass completion nobody there for the most tackles one yes nobody there one quadrado though with the most dribbles well he didn't complete the most dribbles he coming fourth most clean sheets Wojciech Szczesny in fifth place and for the fewest conceded it is our Polish goalkeeper in second place so now looking at the team's performance defensive efficiency you can see that we were quiet and impenetrable just about impenetrable though just a bound other teams did have a fairly decent conversion rate against us the attacking efficiency you can see we were very aggressive and we were also very clinical on the ball looking at possession we frequently won the ball but we were also kind of reliable so we were very reliable in on the ball sorry but when it comes to winning the ball we're, we're bang in the middle literally bang in the middle the average in Serie A. and for the passing you can see that we completed a lot of passes but we were also accurate kind of expected being a more dominant side in Serie A. now lastly we can look at the squad stats who were the top goal scorers in all of the competitions Dusan Vlahovic with 47 goals in all comps Chiesa with 26 Paul Pogba with 15 Winston McKinney with 11 and Angel Di Maria with 11 assists Di Maria with 21 Sandro with 20 McKinney with 12 Quadrado with 9 but also Vlahovic and Chiesa on 9 and looking at the highest average rated players Di Maria Vlahovic and Quadrado are the top three but unfortunately that wraps up today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you want to download the tactic the download link will be in the description as well so stay safe everyone don't forget as well if you are new or you haven't yet make sure you hit that subscribe button hit like leave a comment share the video all of that good stuff i'll see you guys soon stay safe peace out god bless Bleep.